Good morning, folks. We've got weather in your top science news this morning. But first, we're going to take another look at the coronal holes for a hint at what signals the start of a new cycle of sunspots. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, yesterday we mentioned how the coronal holes are attempting to leave the polar zones, and that was a sign of the upcoming sunspot cycle. Well, when those sunspots return towards the end of the year, they should mostly be hugging the coronal sectors, meaning that they're likely to form a stride of a non-polar coronal hole, as opposed to out randomly in the middle of the photosphere, which would be previous cycle magnetism, which can eke its way into the new cycle by weeks to months. Solar wind next. We're seeing the plasma intensity drop for the second day in a row, purple plasma speed in the middle sliding downward, and as you might expect, all quiet in Earth's magnetic field. We're going to Turkey, where from the northwest down to Istanbul, the inundation is tremendous. Record flooding has essentially destroyed the famous Grand Bazaar there, and more rain is coming. Meanwhile, the rain in India triggered a landslide that ripped through a village, and sadly, most of the official death total so far is children. Let's do a bit of solar physics and come to the small-scale activity. This is relative, of course, considering that most of these features are Jupiter-sized, but they are modeling the flux ropes in an alphanic system, finally beginning to consider the electric current as part of the system rather than a product of it. It's a great first step. And then we begin to focus on their eruptive behavior. When we get a solar flare, the CME tends to be associated or follow within minutes of the electromagnetic explosion, but in a plasma filament flux rope, this is not the case. There's the CME blasting out first, and then the plasma reconnections made in its wake shine in hard x-rays to produce a hider flare, occurring after the CME has already exploded into space. New paper describes the approximate waiting time between such release and flare to be about 61 minutes. Up next, Somewhere in between the outer reach of the magnetosphere and the lowest level L shells and Van Allen belts, atop the ionosphere, sits a region vast enough to fit a few Earths inside and which apparently forms anomalous double layers. Apparently it starts as a small instability and waveform that shifts into the full-scale double layer. And by the way, double layers are plasma cosmology hitmen. Up next... We're looking at the middle atmosphere. This is the region above our living space up at the top of the troposphere, starting at about 10 to 15 kilometers up and extending up to the well-mixed atmospheric boundary layer at the top of the sky. They notice two things, a cooling of the temperature in the middle atmosphere over decades time and a decrease in wind speed, both due to there being less heat mixing in the region where the activity of the sun and cosmic rays can play a much greater role than nearer to the ground. Interesting intermediate study on sprites, they are seeing the odd association patterns between positive and negative lightning strikes and their sprite and elf halo production. While it is a stepping stone to a more conclusive, concluding study, we will catch a glimpse of an electromagnetic paradox and that paper is linked below. Along with this, electron and ion spectra due to atmospheric ionization from above. That would be the Van Allen electrons squeezed into the atmosphere during CME impact and the cosmic ray nuclei that break out and cascade into various particle productions. Here, we see the data solid enough to be captured in a simple high-altitude balloon experiment. And when they happen to have one up there while an actual impact occurs, three fields of science will change overnight. Of course, we are trying to change a few fields ourselves, and beneath the video in the description box you can find links to our first two movies of the month, with a third coming out near the end. These infomentaries are meant to catch you up on eight years of research and news here on the topics of Plasma Universe, the Earth Catastrophe Cycle, those would be the two out already, and coming at the end of the month, Climate, where lots of this electrodynamic stuff will come in. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, the blot echoes are concerning me on both sides of the Pacific. Forecasters at QuakeWatch.net, take note. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.